Hello, hello. How are you today? Today we're going to just talk about reporting. Reports. You're a backup admin, whatever you do in your field, you're a sysadmin, whatever. Now, you've gotten tasked to look at the backups. Look, look after the backups in Commvault. You're like, I don't know, whatever. So that's what you do. Okay. So how do you set yourself up for success, basically, is what you might be asking yourself. Gary, how, how do I set myself up for success? I'll show you how. So you're in the comm serve, you're in the Java console, and you have like home, tools, storage, configuration, reports. Select reports, then select job summary. Click job summary. And what you're looking for, you're looking for like a calendar view. You don't want to look at it, just uh, scan it over. Is it good? Is it not good? Whatever. So you click on job summary here under jobs, then job summary. So the view type, you want to select the calendar, select calendar. Then under computers, leave everything blank because it's just going to capture all of your computers that you want to show you're being backed up. Select the time range. Now, a good idea is to do it seven days. You can look at the past seven days, what's happened. That way you get the fulls. So if you had a full, say, run on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday, whatever it is, you're going to see that full. Oh, okay, I saw the full take place. And so then we go, we click on run, obviously. Now we're just going to view this because we want to schedule it, right, obviously. Anyway, so this is perfect. So you can see this here. And so the report generated, the version number and all that stuff, the information. So you see here, you have the client name, you have the instance, you have the backup set subclient. Storage policy, the storage policy copy, the library it's on, and then your dates. So uh, for me, I just ran a full backup of the help desk one and then the WordPress one a couple of days ago for WordPress. So what you can see here is this. Say, imagine you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, like a thousand. Let's say you have a thousand clients that you look at every day. For whatever reason, that's your job. You don't have an automated system. You just have to look at it. Or maybe you want to look at it like, Okay, you feel the need to look at it. Okay. This is this is the perfect job summary report for that, for that looking for for being able to look at it. The down the only downside is this. If it were say all jobs failed or killed right here, that doesn't mean exactly that's the case. It could be that it is it could it doesn't always mean that basically it it could also mean at least one job needs to be copied that's all now that's in the storage policy right but it just doesn't it doesn't always mean that obviously right now the down here the orange sometimes that means like some jobs the the jobs didn't process or whatever and then you have your active jobs so your active Maybe there's a job still running or whatever. Usually that's the case. So, but if you're full, so if you got like, either you're going to have like a F or an I, that's it. You're either going to have an F or an I in here. And yeah, but there's going to be different colors. Is it going to be this color, like a green here, or it's going to be a pink or a blue or a yellow color? Orange color ish color actually. Let's so let's actually set the report up here. So we're gonna do like a schedule, right? And we're gonna call this, we're gonna click on schedule. Then we're gonna do let's say it daily, let's say. So we're gonna do say uh let's do seven day backup. Calendar. What is a seven day backup? Whatever. You can name whatever you want. And it should be named for something like you want to name it for your environment so you can understand what is it for. Really be detailed. Uh, okay, report. Now, if you wanted to change something, you can change it here. Notification. So I'm going to select myself, right? Let's do actually help desk. Help desk at Commvault. No, that's not it. Happy Dubai. That's my uh, email address. Okay. Okay, fine. Good. And I, or I could just send it to somebody here. Maybe there's a person here, convolt at helpdubai.com. 
So I'm going to select those both two and click OK. And it's going to tell me yes or no. OK, fine. OK, so close this up. Go to your view schedules tab under the reports, view schedules. Right click on it and then you're going to run immediately. Click on your job controller. I'm going to make sure that it, it ran. Fine. Let's go over to our email and check it out. In our email server here, we have a report. We should have two actually. We should have one from Help Desk. So we got one here from Help Desk, which is a similar report. Because we emailed, you know, two individual or two email addresses. And then uh, from the Commvault at happydubai.com. Click that. So we see it. So we see the report. Like, oh, fantastic. Good. And this comes in your email every day. You look at it. You look at, okay, fine. You have your reportings in. You can check it out. You can, you know, make uh, necessary changes or just, it's a good overall status, basically. Just a brief status. You know, you, you take five minutes, like say if you have hundreds of servers, let, let's say you're backing up, just uh, do this report and you can quickly look at it. Okay, you can scan and then you can decipher what needs to be taken care of. You know, as you become um, more and more in, in, let's see, more and more about the backups and that's what your job is, basically. Uh, let's say you're a sysadmin. This is going to become really, really a good, a good tool for you to, to utilize. So you don't have to think about it. You just look at it. Okay, I can see they're good. Okay, move on. Next, whatever thing you have to do. Because you're going to have a lot of stuff to do, obviously, if you're a... Because you do sysadmin and you do backups as well, if, if that's what your role is. Yeah, definitely, you're going to have a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.